Hello everyone, welcome back to FightH channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Anthony Joshua wipes the floor with the Tyson Fury after baffling performance against Francis Nagano, says Eddie Heron. He will knock him out inside six. Anthony Joshua wipes the floor with Tyson Fury. AJ vs Tyson Fury should be next on the list of boxing's biggest fights to make, according to Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn. Hearn, the chairman of Matchroom Boxing and one of the sport's leading promoters, has been campaigning for a clash between the two Britons for several years. Having labeled a potential clash between Joshua and Fury as the biggest fight in British history boxing, Hearn recently stated that the time to organize the Habib boat was now. In the wake of Fury's controversial win over Francis Ngannou, Ed Hearn shared with boxing social his thoughts on a possible fight between Joshua and the Gypsy King. I don't know what the world fight took out of Fury, but I'm telling you now, and I've told you before, and the people will love me. Anthony Joshua beats Tyson Fury every day of the week and twice on a Sunday. He will knock him out inside six rounds, and we are in the danger of not getting that fight. So I'll tell you what, just scrap everything and make AJ against Fury now. And I'm telling you now, AJ will beat him comfortably, and he will stop him and he will finish his career. Heron said. Eddie Heron explains the collapse of Anthony Joshua vs. Deontay Wilder fight. During an interview, Eddie Heron was bursting with confidence about the likelihood of AJ vs. Wilder taking place, either this year or in early next year. Heron created the environment of Saudi Arabia as the main reason for his confidence. However, it now appears that the potential clash is off the table. Deontay Wilder has not competed since October 2022, where he would KO Robert Hellenius in the first round, and fans are no doubt eager to see the bronze bomber back in action. During an interview, Eddie Hearn shared an update on the fallout of Joshua vs. Wilder, saying, We agreed the deal, so did Wilder. And because we have done a couple of fights with uh, Saudi Arabia before, I felt it was a done deal, but unfortunately it wasn't, so we have to look for an alternative when a year. The right discussions still going on with Saudi Arabia, said Eddie Hearn. And Ruiz Jr. believes entering Joshua trilogy won't happen. Ruiz Jr. believes there is a clear reason why he won't fight Anthony Joshua again. AJ is currently looking to book his return to the ring after having his clash with Dante Wilder fall apart. For most of this year, the two heavyweights were in the talks for a December clash in Saudi Arabia. However, due to financial issues, the boat fell through. For his part, Eddie Hearn has stated that they are still looking to book the clash for early 2024. However, Joshua has received many call-outs from his longtime foe, the destroyer Ruiz Jr. And he was also hoping to score a fight with the Bronze Bomber this year. With both men not having a fight lined up, Andy Ruiz Jr. believes that trilogy with Anthony Joshua makes sense. In 2019, the two famously had a high-profile two-fight series. The Mexican boxer scored a knockout win that June to upset the then-champion. Joshua later reclaimed the goal that December, but Ruiz Jr. still believed that Eddie Hearn has not gotten over that first boat. Speaking in a recent interview, he stated, I don't think they want to fight. I think Eddie Hearn is already traumatized. He doesn't want to manage him against anyone good unless he is trying to get his money and leave. Of course, I will go over there to fight him. Remember, when I fought him in the ring, I was overweight. I forgot everything that I was doing with the rematch, Ruiz said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.